Hi guys! So after searching for a long time in internet for a sketchbook which I like for example, I was searching for a 300 GSM paper, uh, I was looking for cotton paper, but it was really difficult to find a good sketchbook and I mean good that's a relative thing uh, to find a sketchbook which i wanted to buy let's say it like that so at the end after all of that searching and looking for something i decided to make my own uh, sketchbook so <laughs> i have here two of them they are already done so i'm gonna show you how they look like uh, later you can also see how i made it it's not my idea i saw a youtuber make this so i was like yeah why not i will just try it out uh yeah and it was actually really easy um so this is i have two of them one is a uh, cold pressed paper and the other one is a uh, hot pressed paper wait i have to turn it around like this uh, what I did for the hot pressed paper, uh, I have took a couple of sheets from Paul Rubens 100% uh, cotton paper, the sparkly one. You can see that it sparkles and yeah, you just have to tape the pages together and I find it I don't know, it works so well. Just look at it, how nicely the pages lay down. And I think for this sketchbook, yeah, I only used Paul Rubens paper, uh, the 100% cotton. So I decided, okay, I will make that one. And for this cover, I just took a little bit uh, thicker, uh, what is this? I don't know, scrapbooking paper. Um, yeah, so just to have a nice cover. So I was using this kind of uh, tape, uh, you can buy it everywhere, this masking tape. And at the end, I was thinking, what am I gonna do with this back side? Because it was a little bit sticky because of the old uh, tape glue that was like coming from the these two sheets, which were taped together. So I was thinking, what should I do? And I just decided to put a layer on this tape on the back and actually it works really well because this tape is not so stiff so that's why i can open the sketchbook without it being torn or being destroyed and it goes back to the original state which i find really nice how long it is going to hold i cannot tell you maybe it will hold for years maybe it will uh I don't know, tear off in a couple of months, but I do not think so. It it looks it looks sturdy, but we will see. Uh, for the second sketchbook, I decided to use uh, cold press paper, and this here was a little bit like a mix up. So I gathered almost all the paper which i actually never use i had some really old henne mule 100 cotton uh, blocks like old when i say old i mean like probably 40 years old um, i found some uh, cotton paper which i where i started to draw something on it and then i did not like it i've cut all of that uh, to smaller pieces and i glued them here together because I decided I will not only be doing watercolor paintings, but also gouache paintings. So for that, it does not matter if there is something already on the paper, I can just paint, paint over it. Um, yeah, so I like how this one tur turned out. Uh, it is much nicer from the cut here, from the from this tape, because I was paying more attention to cut it nicely, not like the other one. Um, yeah, so as I said, this is a cold pressed. It is now made of a lot of different papers. Uh, this is already one drawing I did. You can see the process at the end of this video. And yeah, so let's let's see what do, do I still have. I will show you something funny. Um, yeah, this is another kind of paper. This is actually 200 GSM. I've also put a couple of... Uh, sheets inside and now there is something you know when um, I don't know if you ever ordered on Jackson's so you can buy those try out sheets of paper so actually what I did I glued those ones also inside here so here I have Canson uh, heritage one I 
Yeah, I was not so happy with this paper, so I will probably, here I can use gouache. Why not? I mean, I can just cover this up. Uh, what else? Let me see. I think from the video, I'm not sure. I think this was Stratmore. I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, these are Sanders Waterford. Um, when you buy that set, you get different sizes. And all of those have like this writing on them. So I thought actually that is perfect because either way I cannot color on this side where there is writing so it is perfect uh, for me to uh, tape these, ta these pages here together. So that's one thing I did. And so here I have those different types as you can see. Uh, what else? Oh, here I did I don't know, at some point, I think this is Moulin de Roy paper. Um, at some point I did a small drawing. I think I tried Ohuhu watercolor brush pens, something like that. Um, yeah, so that will also be gone when I put the gouache on top of it. Uh, oh yes, this was uh, Arches, actually 100% cotton paper, Torchon. Or sorry, Arch is called Arch, not, not Arches. Well, I have to, I still have to learn to pronounce that correctly. Um, either way, I have that one. This was a smaller piece, but I still find it so cute. I mean, it is still in a sketchbook. It's on one, uh, in, on one place. And yeah, because otherwise I had these paper all, papers all over the place. And I now I have them here. What else? Oh yeah, this one. Oh yeah. Um, I will turn it around just to make you see what it is. Yeah, I think that's the should be the right way. Um, either way, this is a Fabriano Artistico cold press paper. I do not like this paper so much. So this will also be used for the gouache paintings. Um, I, I, I did not like, I, I wanted to draw an elephant. You can check on the on my Instagram page how this picture turned out, or maybe I will put it in the corner. But the one that you see in the corner is made with ash watercolor uh, paper. I started on the Brianna Artistico 100% cotton cold press paper. I definitely, I, I, I just, I do not like how this paper looks like i do not like how the color looks on it it the color sinks on some parts and you cannot really move it it's like i, I don't know i definitely i had so much problems with these clouds uh, it did not want to do what i wanted uh yeah so i did not like this paper i just uh, started the picture all over again with the arch 100 percent cotton paper that one turned <laughs> much 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 better um yeah, either way, I decided to cut this one because it was not finished and it was just laying around and yeah, not really my favorite. It was always reminding me how bad it was. Oh, this is the part of the elephant uh, which I sketched. Yeah, so that one. Oh, this is also arch. So this one was a part of <laughs> this one here. Um, yeah, I, as I said, I, I love it, what I did here. Um, also, on the back, as you see, what I, I made a mistake here. I will have to take this down because I had... Oh, let's do it right now. Why not? Let's just do it right now because I had two uh, short ones. I do need one bright, so I will just take this one. Uh, broad, not bright. So I will, yeah, it is sticking, you see? So it, I think this will definitely uh, not be ruined so fast. This is how it looks without this on top, but it is quite sticky and you will get some dust sticking here. That's why you do have to put something there. You just have to put, put it on top. Press it hard so that it, it does stick here. And, and I just used 
this knife to cut the remaining uh, parts. I'm just trying to show you how I be careful doing this, okay? I'm doing it right now like this just to show you guys, but I would be more careful than this. And like that, so you cut it and then you have it nicely there. Yeah, I think I have to do it on the other side as well. Yeah, either way, that's how we do it. And now I will just show you in a quick video how I did it and also how I did these paintings. Just enjoy the process. And then what you actually do is you take these two that are already uh, that you already glued together and then you glue you put the tape on these two so again I actually prefer it really to put it on one side and then I'm I'm putting it on the other side okay like I think now should be it looks okay like this yeah okay now it's fine okay now we have it and now actually that I have four four I am again going to tape this together because here I have four sheets and here I have four sheets so now I'm gonna take these four to four Thank you. 